at home. Hospitals in many areas are overwhelmed amid the largest outbreak of COVID-19 in the U.S. since March. A lot to dig into here today on the solstice. Let's take a look at Morro Bay. Wow, nice picture, some high clouds overhead, but of course we're trying to see the conjunction, so high clouds might be an issue because it's so close to the horizon tonight. Again, just head outside, look a little bit to the right of the moon and just above the horizon by a couple of degrees. It's there till about seven o'clock. There's Jeremiah's Jeremiah JJ's view of the coast today and Cecil Horton's view of Tascadero Lake. I'm TV Dave Hovde on Facebook. Send us your pics. Can't wait to see your pics of the conjunction, by the way. 65 California Valley in Cuyama, 57 in Santa Maria, 59 in San Luis. In Santa Barbara, we have 59 and 60 at Isla Vista. Currently, the winds are fairly light, though in the hills around San Luis Obispo County, it's going to be another one of those gusty evening and early morning hour events. It was 80 in San Luis today, 71 in Paso Robles, 82 at Santa Inez. We're going to cool down a little tomorrow. 77 in Cuyama, 77 in Goleta, Santa Barbara at 81, 77 in Santa Maria. And again, take a look up here in the hills as we get into the overnight hours. Some local gusts past 20 miles per hour heading into Tuesday. What's interesting about Tuesday, ultimately the winds do turn around and come back on shore. So that's going to bring the temperatures down a little bit, but it's a one day event because by the time we get into Tuesday night into Wednesday, the offshore breezes are locally gusty again in the San Luis Obispo County Hills. Oftentimes we get these kind of gusts in Santa Barbara County, but it's just the current setup. It's San Luis Obispo County and Ventura County with some of the higher winds. Here's what's happening. A little cold front passing to the north, a trough sweeping in here for cooler conditions as we get into Tuesday. Again, as we get into Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to see a little bit of an offshore at the surface, but at the upper level, some clouds start pushing in from the southwest. I think it's too dry at the surface to get much from this little upper air disturbance, but but as we look down the road, there are other opportunities for rain. Again, here's that upper level disturbance Thursday showing us a chance of maybe a drop or two of rain here and there. I think at higher elevations up in the hills, maybe. But as we get into later Friday and early Saturday, a front moves through here could give us again a few drops, nothing big. But modeling is starting to like a system as we go into Sunday, Monday and Tuesday around the region, a snowmaker for the Sierra and showers for much of the Central Coast and Southern California. Northern California is starting to get into some of the action here, but how much rain if you add it all up between now and just before New Year, two tenths of an inch to half an inch. That would be about it, but at least it's more rain than we've been talking about. Mid 60s to about 70 for much of the area tomorrow. Again, we saw 80s in the area today. Morro Bay 58, 65 at Tascadero and San Miguel. Around the five cities, Napomo 68, 62 Pismo, 67 AG. Can't even rule out some patchy marine cloud cover late overnight and early tomorrow. Should clear though. 72 Santinez, Los Alamos, 66 in Cuyama, 63 in Carpinteria. And the extended forecast here, you can see I put rain in there on Monday as we finally start getting into some activity. Yeah, more clouds as we get into Wednesday and Thursday, but again, I think most folks don't see anything from that. Nina, back to you.